All right, well, overall, we're going to dodge some of the snow here tonight. I think it's tomorrow into the morning and early afternoon that will track snow here in West Michigan. But for now, it's really Berrien County and then into northern and northwestern Indiana. Areas like Michigan City and down towards the LaPorte County area, they've seen two feet of snow here today. And now the heaviest pockets have moved into the South Bend area where they're seeing snowfall rates at over an inch and a half per hour. And that's uh, about a half an inch to an inch per hour in parts of Berrien County. Uh, moving a little closer to home, it's starting to hug the lakeshore from Holland down to Saugatuck and South Haven, but we're just seeing some flurries there right now. This shouldn't be too impactful with us overnight tonight, but it's uh, late tonight, early tomorrow morning where that band is going to start to push back on shore. This model has it in about 5, 6 a.m., and then some will trickle inland as this extends from all the way up into the Ludington area in Manistee. So we're going to have multiple bands to contend with here in the West Michigan area. But the heaviest focus is going to be from Holland, Allegan, Fenville off to the south and west and into Van Buren County, where we are looking at significant snowfall possible here. That goes until the evening. That breaks up Saturday night. Sunday, we should see the clouds break as well, and it should see some decent sunshine here for the weekend, at least the end of the weekend. Inland areas tomorrow, maybe a little sun as well. So here's the winter weather advisory, Allegan, Van Buren, and Cass County, as well as a separate one in Oceana. Oceana's expires earlier. Uh, the ones to the south expire 10 p.m. Uh, winter storm warning goes until 6 a.m. I suspect maybe an advisory comes on the back side of that. But we do have 6 to 8 inches of snow there in the purple and that pinkish color possible here. And maybe even localized higher amounts. A lot of these bands, if they stay persistent in one area with the steady wind, we are looking at that really heavy snowfall rate. And again, could pick up over 8 inches of snow in some spots. But that'll be the last of the snow here, at least in the long term forecast for major accumulations. We catch some afternoon sunshine here on Sunday, widespread Saturday, maybe a little sunshine again inland. It's still going to be cold, though, only in the 20s. We're at 19 in Grand Rapids right now, 19 in Allegan, some lower 20s once you get down your I-94 to the south. And we haven't seen the clouds break up a ton here today. Uh, and that's pushing the feels like temperatures with a little wind to five in Big Rapids, 19 in Grand Rapids, feels like 14 right now in South Haven. Tonight's going to be the coldest night maybe of the season as air temperatures will get below zero uh, east of US 131 and with that feels like temperatures close but not quite as cold as they were earlier this week. Thankfully the wind is going to be a lot lighter only about five to ten miles per hour out of the west northwest. So as I mentioned tomorrow last day of major accumulating snow we see temperatures warm mixed precipitation into Tuesday and then looks like all rain there as we head into next week as well but Tuesday will be a little more of a focus here as it could be some snow transitioning over to rain, maybe even some freezing rain in there could impact travel Tuesday morning. But notice temperatures stay very mild, even near 40 degrees into the middle of next week. So just a couple more days of cold air.